Hi guys, welcome back to Addie's AG Adventures and today I'm going to be showing you some Easter's tips, tricks, and DIYs for your American Girl dolls or 18 inch dolls. So first I got these little like foam eggs from the dollar store. They're just foam eggs. You can you make them out of polymer clay, just roll them into an egg shape. But they were only $1 at the dollar store. And they come in different colors. And they have like little like silver paint splatters. The container did not come with the set. I just had it and needed a place to store these before Easter. And they're really cool eggs. As you can see, they have paint splatters on them. And I love them. And they're perfect doll shape. And they were only $1. So, also at Target, there are these little Easter baskets. And they're easy to put together. They just um, Velcro. And they're at Target. They're only $3. So, there's a green one and a pink one. And also, keep a lookout because there's also these cute little signs. I found this one at Walmart for, like, only $3. And they're super cute. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to be showing you how to make different candies out of air dry clay. You can use polymer clay or you can just, I literally found some little packs of clay the other day at Target for literally a couple of dollars and fry Crayola. This is just a big pack. I got it for Christmas, but you can use any type and it's pretty cheap depending on which clay you get. Let you have your clay out, it can be any color, you're going to roll two pieces into a ball, one big and one a little bit smaller than the other one, and you're just gonna roll them into a ball, and then when you smush them down, they'll smush together, and the bigger roll of clay will be the body, and the smaller, ball of clay will end up being the head now don't worry about making the eyes you can make it now but you can paint them on later or you can add them on with polymer clay whichever one you prefer and that's the body now to make the ears you're going to the ears you kind of just kind of have to form but take a little, roll it into kind of like a snake, then kind of push it against your finger and kind of shape it into like a little triangle. You might have to take out some clay if needed or add more clay. That's what I did. And then slowly but surely, it will form a ear. And this is the finished product. Okay, now I'm going to wait for them to dry. Mine's air dry clay, but if yours is polymer clay, then you need to bake it. Okay, to make a chocolate bunny, you're going to need clay again and a outline of a bunny just off of, like... I messed up on the cutting there, but I'm not going to actually cut that piece out. And a knife. You need the outline in the bunny to trace with the knife, but you can just free do it. But I was not comfortable on cutting and molding a bunny, so I got an outline. And now I'm just going to flip it out, flat now and flip it to the flat side. So it looks more professional without my fingerprints in it. And now I'm going to take the butter knife and I'm just going to cut around the bunny. Now the clay, my clay is very soft and it didn't really cut. I kind of had to peel it. So the pieces that didn't, that looked rough and stuff, I just tucked that into the bunny when it was all finished.
When you finish cutting it, you want to tuck in any extra clay into the chocolate bunny to make it look more sharper and pull off the outline of the bunny and peel it up. And then you have your bunny and you have to wait to it to dry. Now to make a bunny rabbit lollipop, you're going to need white clay or brown cat clay and you also need pink clay but that is going to be in the end and you also need brown paint but we're going to be using that a little bit later now you're going to take some of your white clay and roll it up in a ball and then flatten it to make a head and then same thing that we did for the peeps earlier you are going to make two ears to put on top of the head Okay, now get a teensy little ball of clay and smush that in the middle of the lollipop for the nose. And So next I'm going to be making a little lollipop and you're going to need two different colors. I'm using blue and pink and you're just going to need a little bit and then you're going to roll them basically to look like a snake and try and get them as even as possible. You need two like little long snake pieces and once you have both of those you are going to basically twist them and roll them together so it looks like a little lollipop Like you see here, I am twisting them together and just wrapping them so it makes like this little, turns out like a little twisted circle. It is the next day and my creations are dry and you can either use paint for this or you can use paint pens, whatever you have, or markers. Whatever you have, I'm going to be using the paint pens. So I'm just going to take a brown paint pen. I'm going to be using it for the bunny lollipop. And I'm just going to take it and draw two little eyes and a mouth. Now this is optional, but you can get either pink paint, a pink paint pen, or a pink marker, whatever pink thing you have, and make the little insides of the ears. I'm just using a paint pen and just make to make the inside of the ears. Now you're going to get your peeps and you're just going to take the brown, whatever brown thing you're using, I'm using a paint pen, and just do two little eyes and a mouth. Now I forgot to say you can use any color. You can use black for the eyes and the mouth for all of these. It's your decision. I'm just using brown.
For the chocolate bunnies, I, you can put eyes on them in the mouth, but I decided to leave them blank. And with the lollipops that we made earlier, you, the bunny one and the regular one, you're just going to take a wooden dowel or I'm using toothpicks and you're just going to cut one sharp end off or you can do both of them. I just did one of them. And be careful when you're cutting these because they do shot, shoot off. And with the non-pointed side, you're going to put down. And with the pointed side, you're going to put glue on. So the pointy side, you're going to put glue on and stick it to the back of your lollipop on both of them. For the regular lollipop and for the bunny lollipop. And it looks like this. Super simple and easy and very cool. As you can see here, I'm just repeating the same steps for the bunny lollipop. So the next thing we are going to make is jelly beans and what you're going to need is hot glue, packing tape, and something to color with them later. So first you're going to take your packing tape and on the sticky side put little dots of hot glue wherever you want. Make sure to leave enough room in the middle though because we are going to put a logo. I'm making jelly beans, but you can make these M&Ms or Skittles, whatever you want. So next thing you're going to do is print off a jelly bean logo. I will have it in the description of my video as long with the bunny basket logo, well bunny basket printable and the bunny outline if you want to use those. So but once you have them all done you are going to take your jelly bean logo cut it out and once you have it cut it out you're just going to place it right side up on the sticky side where the jelly beans are in the middle of that or wherever you would like it now for the next step you will need paint paint pens or markers the only thing with paint pens is you have to wait for them to dry a longer time than paint but that's the only thing i had right that was easier for me to use at that moment. So now you're just going to paint all these little dots and wait for them to dry. And like I said, stick the logo in the middle and wait for your paint to dry and then you're going to fold it in half and like I said you're going to fold it in half and once you have folded it in half if you need to trim it on either side it will stick together because it's tape you just might have to press it down a little harder and yeah it is okay if it crinkles because that makes it look like a candy wrapper and this is the finished product and I think it's really cute. Okay, now I'm going to be making a bunny Easter basket and I will give the printout so you can print them out and cut them out in the description below. 
just look for the link with bunny basket and you'll find it so now you just need to fold on all these lines it should you should fold all the sides so it kind of sort of looks like a basket like that and then you'll see these little tabs these help it stay together when if you glue it or tape it so you're going to fold those little tabs there are four of them two on the side with the bunny and two on the back so it should look like that on all the sides and then once you have done that on all the sides you can start putting them on all four sides you can start putting your Easter basket together Now that you have done that, you're going to want to take either glue or tape and make sure you put the tab under and put a piece of tape between the sides and make sure the tab is under like I said and do that on all four sides. You can do it on the outside but I would recommend doing it the tape on the inside for the face of the bunny so you don't cover the bunny up. So basically, I'll show you in just a second, but basically you just put the tape inside instead of outside so you can see the bunny's face. Now that you have the bunny's, the bunny basket, you are going to basically turn a paper sideways and cut a little strip. That should be good enough for, it depends on how big, how big you want your strap, but that's what I did. And you're just gonna tape or glue one side and glue it to e either side of the basket like this and here is the finished product those are all my crafts and i hope you like them and if you like this craft video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i will be coming up coming w out with a Easter stop motion and uh, showing what is in my doll's Easter baskets. Happy Easter! Bye! Make sure to click in the description for more of my videos and for this video there will be links to the different printouts. Hi, this is Addie and before you go I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this video. Addie, I need your help! I'm filming, I'll come help you in just a second. Anyway, if you like this video, I'm sure you'll like my other videos. It's mine! No, it's mine! I hit it first! Stop! While I do with this, I'll pass it over to my friend. Hi, and I'm going to show you how you can get to my channel and my videos. So first thing you can do is type in Addie's AG or Addie's AG Adventures. And once you've searched that, it should bring you to all of my different videos and my icon so one way you can get to my channel is by typing by clicking the icon and that should bring you to this page where you can see all my videos and subscribe you can subscribe right beside my little icon or you can click on my video scroll down and click Scroll down and you'll see an icon. You can click that. You can also subscribe there and that's where you can find all my videos. One last thing, if you like my videos and want to subscribe, that'd mean a lot. Bye!